new techs, new tractors, and thousands and thousands of screws. All in today's episode of Satisfactory. Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to Satisfactory. Where, man oh man, last episode was the best. Having my beast up here now, whoo, so good. This view never gets old. Absolutely fantastic. However, we got a lot to do today, and I can't admire the view for long. Because today, we have a ton of text to get, a new factory expansion we need to work on, and a whole bunch more. So buckle in and get ready. And if you enjoy, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Anyway though, got some good news, got some bad news, and have some good bad news. Starting with the good news though, I figured out how to get much, much, much more efficient with our steel production. And essentially, that's by adding in overflow capacity. So, pretty much, all this was at a standstill, for the most part, because these were done processing everything, and there's steel sitting in the bins, and it's like, I could use those, right? So I combined both the hyper 100% efficient system with one that can be overflowed. So now, when this one gets overflowed, more of the steel flows over here and goes to this. So essentially, most of it enters the first uh, machine, to make steel beams, and then of course it has an overflow system just with the splitters here. So most of it goes to the first, a little bit goes to the second, yada yada yada. And that means I can make way, 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 way more steel beams with the steel we have while still being 100% efficient. And it's like combining the two systems, genius. And yeah, we are just going nuts right now. I think I'm using steel beams to make the encased steel beams. And yeah, now encased industrial beam production is going absolutely crazy. I've had to overclock to try and keep up, but whoosh, just have too much, man. Just have too much. Two big bins already almost on the second bin. Yeah. Having the new system with the overflow capacity, 10 out of 10, fantastic idea. Then off to the bad news, though. We have a belt problem here. Yeah. So, uh, our fastest belt right now can carry 270 units per minute. However, when it comes to screws, each constructor makes 90 per minute. So if you want to stack some a ton of screws on some lines, you have to do some finicky stuff and have multiple lines running. As it is for our reinforced plate area here, Pretty much, I have a tier 3 and a tier 2 line running to the same place, and it's like, mm, yeah, bit of a waste of space, very inconvenient. And that's not even mentioning the load balancing nonsense we got going on here too, just to make perfect ratios. So we really have to research some faster lines here. And finally, for our good bad news, our iron capacity is maxed out. We have all lines using all of our iron right now. So everything is moving and grooving and at peak efficiency. Meaning, we need to expand and get some more iron nodes today. But blah 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 blah, let's actually start doing stuff. And first on the agenda is the new text, because we need the faster conveyor belts before we start building anything. And off camera, made a little rotor factory here, which is something we've done before, but I've tried to make it a little bit better at least. It still has many, many problems, but it works. Brings the screws in, the screws meet up with the rods, and it makes the rotors. Really simple. Everything's just downstairs. Oop. So I just have to bring it up one layer, and there we go. We plug it in, and it works. Problem is, I can't bring in the screws fast enough on one line, so it's inefficient and pretty slow. So that's why we really need the lines. And because this is inefficient and slow, the next production line is as well. Because I quickly just hooked up a motor factory. So just like the rotors, I made these stators. Stators? Someone in the comments told me how to 
pronounce them correctly. Stators? Sta I called them Stators before. I think it's Stators. Let's go with Stators. Stators? Stators. God damn. Okay, I don't know. Pretty much, they're coming up from downstairs. They're meeting up with the rotors from downstairs. And they're going in and making an engine. R again, it's like, everything's really simple when you're this organized. You just plug it all in. And it works. But it's not efficient because the rotors are so slow. So freaking slow. It's terrible. Or are they? Is this keeping up? No, it stopped right now. Yeah. Rotors are too slow. Not 100% efficient, but this just works just so we can get the tech. And we're making them at, like, you know, a decent pace here. So I think we need, like, 150 or something. I don't know. Sure, we'll call that a day. And then, yes, indeed, yes, indeed, I did even more off camera. Getting the theme here. Because it's all kind of just the same. The curse of being so optimized. Just everything's so straightforward now. And I know where the problems are at and I know how to fix them. But yep, yeah, aside from the motors, for the next tech tier we needed 500 modular frames. And since we have a reinforced plate factory and the iron rods are easy to come by. Bada boom! Plum Plug them in together, and that makes the frames. So yeah, that's all good. I think I can even expand on this factory. I have three right now. And it seems we're like super, super overloaded. But again, I haven't really looked into the numbers of this one. I just want to get the better tech tier so we can get the better belts. All right, so it's 10, 50 stacks of frames for 500. And I think that's all we need. And we'll relook at this when I can optimize it. But for now, it's finally time to get to tiers 5 and 6. Alright, so there are the frames. There are the motors. We seal the deal. And... Away it goes! Goodbye, stuff. Ooh. Oh, there is an animation here. Ooh, what? Oh, what the? I missed that the first time. Oh, that is so cool. What if I could jump on there when it goes up like that? That would be so amazing. Oh, it's coming back down. Okay, there we go. So, incoming transmission, new stuff. Yeah? Or is it just unlocked? Maybe it's just unlocked. Hopefully, hopefully. Yes! Oh my god, all right. So, what new adventures do we have? Oil processing, plastic, circuit boards. Oh, <laughs> oh we're getting into the spiciness now. Crude oil, rubber, I am not looking forward to those circuit boards. That is going to be a mess and a half. I already know. Ooh, manufacturer. What? Four crafting materials? A truck? I, ugh, I want that. Has a crafting? I want that. Oh my gosh. A computer? Wow. That is used to control advanced behavior in machines? So wait, I could speed... What does that mean exactly? Looks like a microwave, but that could be incredibly, incredibly good. And then Criterium Electronics, high-speed connectors. I already know. Those are going to be the absolute worst to craft. A supercomputer. AI limiter. Whoa. <laughs> that controls AIs and keeps them from evolving in malicious ways. Smart splitter. Ah! What? You can set a rule for which part goes to the left and right? Oh my, oh my god. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. That is like number one. Soon anyway. We'll get to that soon. That needs a hundred or a thousand quick wire. 
brother. And then what about tier 6 now? That's what I needed to see. I need the new conveyor belt. But you need the computers for that? Oh my gosh. Heavy modular frames. There it is. Those things are tough. So then you get a fuel generator. Jetpack? Oh! But computers. Oh, you need to make so many computers. A gas mask. Everything needs computers. And how do you get to the computers? Through here. And a manufacturer. Huh. Okay. That's interesting. That's very interesting indeed. And then super quick. I'm seeing tier one fabric. Let's just quickly do this because it's there and annoying me. And then, oh my god. That is so much to do, man. Bada boom. Bada launch. Thank you. Oh yeah, no rocket launch. Okay, so with the fabric, that that's cool. I, I don't really care about that. Oh my gosh. There's so many things now. I thought that the belts would be easier to get, but they're way down the line. Way down the line. And then computers too. And oil. Huh. Well, I'd really like to get into oil today, but since our production is kind of capped without more iron, I'm kind of looking at getting more trucks. And then these could collect more iron for us. We can expand the highways, stuff like that. And also we could see what it takes to make a computer too. So that can help us kind of plan ahead. So we're going to try and get this here. Why do I say try? We're, we're getting this right now. Because I have all this stuff easily accessible. Been manufacturing this stuff for days. A couple more motors and... Bada boom! Industrial manufacturing I got. Milestone Ooh. reached. The manufacturer increases production complexity. A critical look at production line logistics and efficiency is recommended during integration. The truck allows for increased efficiency in transportation, automated or otherwise. Alrighty. Very cool, very cool, very important stuff. So, uh, truck. Truck. Heavy modular frames and oh my god, of course it requires computers to create. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we are down the rabbit hole now. We are down the rabbit hole. Manufacturer then, I suppose we can look at. I suppose we'll just craft one kind of just with the bench here. Oh no, we can see right here what we need. So we're going to need the circuit board. Oof. Cables. Plastic. Oh, so we need the oil first. And more screws! Oh my god, more screws. What? Everything needs screws. Everything. Ay yeah. Oh, I had to take a breather here. This is... Oh, there's so much now. So... Gracious. What do we have to do first? Well, I guess if we need the plastic for computers, we need the oil first. And we need iron. So maybe we can do both? Like, maybe there's iron out somewhere just nearby that's close to a highway. We can hook up a few trucks for the oil and a few trucks for iron. And bada-boom, we're good. First off, though, I guess we will unlock this then. So just everything I got... There you go. And that will unlock our oil. And a rocket. Launch. And super quick. Da -da 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 oil acquisition and refining. <laughs> oil based products can now be. Caution. This is a reminder to minimize the chance of expiration during the base activities. Okay, so there's oil. But who cares about oil when you're going to space? Oh. Well, we're not uh, not going to space apparently. Okay. Cool view of the map though. Huh? It's a big area over there. Might check that out one time. A little bit over there. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Gotta do another exploring episode one of these days. But first off. <laughs> 
Let's go see where the oil is supposed to be. So, oops. I went for one exploration episode way back in the day. Found oil like a million miles that way, but I'm sure there's some more that's closer, right? Hopefully I didn't jinx it. Oh God. Oh God. Hello? Dude. Oil? Oh, oh my sweet God. Oh my sweet God, that's like 2,300 meters out that way. 2005? Oh my lordy Lanta. Okay. Okay. So we need to expand the highway over here. Way back that way. And oh my god. Oh my god. And that's gonna be an exploration and a half. Alrighty. Well then. <laughs> Gotta start with the first step here. And that is expanding the truck network. So number one, let's see if there's iron at least in that direction. All right, all right, going down the highway. There's some copper. Cool. There's our automated buddy. Beep, beep, buddy. Ooh, we got some iron over here. Very good, very good, very good indeed. How are the nodes? Normal nodes, too. That's good. I think I remember some more up further, though. Just up the hill here. But we'll probably connect these up too. And then, yep, just over to the right there. There's two more nodes. Good. And these are hopefully normal. Don't be impure. Just not impure. Yep. Yeah, okay, good. And in case I'm missing anything, any more iron? One, two, three, four. Okay. And a bunch more over there that we don't need to worry about. Alrighty, so we're going to mine this one, that one, and the two down there. Bring it up here into a truck stop and add another truck to the line. Obviously, the big problem with this though, is if we're adding another truck to our highway, that's not collecting coal, we're gonna have to refuel it. Uh huh, uh huh. So two options, I make a gas station or I have it just drive up here to get refilled. However, since we're gonna be making a lot more trucks using this road, it's probably best to have a refueling station. And we'll probably have that kinda near base, near our truck depot. So, beep beep, hello other truck again. I think with this fuel station, we're gonna have it near here. Because how our truck system works is when they turn in here, they turn over and around, go to their specific stop, go over top here, and then they leave. So, as they're leaving, perhaps we can have them refuel then? No, 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 don't. Don't load. Uh-huh. That means we could have another refueling station over here as well. Hmm. Over here, though, it's a little different. Why do I have this different? I have, like, gaps in between. Should I have it like that over here too? Does it matter? I guess it kind of matters, eh? Huh. Well, I'll fix that a little bit later. We're gonna have to redraw all of the truck paths anyway. Going forward though, I guess the fuel depot can just be right in here. That seems extremely convenient. Oh, I knew this was too good to be true. There's a freaking limestone node here that I'm obviously going to want to use soon. But, you know, we could just do all the processing, like, up and around on the hill there. So we can still use this for a truck station. Right, Mr. Truck? Exactly. So, with this truck, we don't really need to mess with it since it's already stopping by the coal area. So, we're going to have other trucks pass through over here. And they're going to kind of detour like that. So there we go. There's the station. This is going to unload. And then I believe, we're have to, gonna have to check this out, that if it enters the left uh, container here, that'll mean it only loads fuel. 
So now if we load in a decent amount of coal, it's only going to go into the fuel, right? And not into the storage. So once this gets to 100, it's just going to stop. Of course it does. Good, okay. Things following expected logic. So very good, very good. Alrighty, now it's just getting the coal into here to load into the fueling station. And I was thinking of making a whole other truck path over here just to load the coal in. But then it's like, why don't I just take it from one of the truck stops here? Like, they're going to the power plants, the coal from these truck stops. And all things considered, if our factory was running at 100% efficiency, if we took anything out of this, we'd run out of power. Like, that's just how, like, efficient it is. It's 100%. However, we're never running at 100%, really. And, like, like, it's hard to get there. Like, I, oh, where's the power pole? Power poles everywhere. There we go. Like, we have 1,700. We still have 1,000 megawatts to go. So, it's a little risque for later. But whatever, man. We're gonna steal a little bit from here. And how we're, oh, how we're gonna do that... It's kind of a bigger question, actually. Alrighty, well, this is a little scuffed, but it, it'll work. And hopefully we'll avoid most major power outages. So with the first uh, splitter here, I have 120 going off that line. So that's 12 coal plants always going to be running, for sure. And then the other uh, split goes onto a 270 line, which is going to be at max. Well, like, if the coal plant's running at max 240 speed, that will have the extra 120, which can go down this line. And then we're going to have another line coming off of this going to our refueling depot. So now we just need to bring a coal line from here over to there. Hmm. I think I have a convenient solution. And that is just by running the coal line up on the wall here bada boom and i'm making it like the super fast line because this is kind of priority keeping the trucks running so that's cool that's rocking that's rolling kind of moves along the wall over top everything goes off down here into the big old bin and finally into the truck station excellent very good indeed very good indeed and this shouldn't interrupt our power production either right now, just because we luckily have a huge stockpile of coal. Thanks to Mr. Truck here, right buddy? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we got, we got, we got a bit of coal here. We got a bit of coal. Like a lot of bit. <laughs> so that's all cool. It looks like our uh, power systems are backed up anyway, so it doesn't really even matter. And that's just going, man. So, with our... Ooh, don't get run over, I'm... Bur Was I just run over? Okay. <laughs> well, uh, after that traumatic experience, I think it is time to set up our uh, new iron mines over there. And then set up our new truck and truck station. And we can just set that up right over here. So, bada-boom. Pop. Pow. So, there we go. New truck station complete. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So essentially, the uh, tractors will come on in here, screw it to the left, up and over the ramp, and back onto the highway. And again, we just use the ramp system because we don't want intersections, because then we could have truck, uh, tractor accidents. And that's a bad time, okay? Okay. Oh my gosh, though. Also, we are limited again by the belts because we are making 480 iron per minute with these extractors, and the belt can only handle 270. Oh, so we really, really need the next tier. For now, though, I guess we have to live with this. For uh, transporting everything, I'm thinking we're going to need like two or three tractors moving and grooving, because this is a lot, man. This is going to be a lot of iron, like, loading up. So I guess I'll get started with that and move and groove the tractors around. So let's just put this guy here, load up the fuel, 
And is it loaded with iron? It is, of course it is. And we're off to the races. So the truck station over here is ready to go. Now we have to make the path. So, what is it, C you have to hold? Yep, let's start recording. We're recording, good. Time to move. Hopefully we can get this first try. That would be super nice. Going well so far. Over the edge to the little fueling depot. Stop here for just a moment. Good, 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 good. So here we are. Just have to take a right right here. Stop for a couple moments, let it load. I never noticed this, but there's a loading bar in the bottom right. It's like, oh, well that's convenient. Oh yeah, lots and lots to load. There we go, let the animation follow through. Turn our way out of here. Over top the ramp, back down onto the uh, highway, and away we go! Easy. All uh, good now, see you later buddy. And we uh, can focus on our iron. And I have been getting ready brother, I've been getting ready. So, if you're unfamiliar with how the factory works, Essentially, at the lower floors, we have our basic production, and then as we move up floors, things get more and more complex. Hence why we have a lot of our, like, late game production high up in the towers here. So over here then, the whole bottom floor is going to be iron production, and then I was thinking about how to organize a few more floors. And I think the rest of this building is going to be completely devoted to producing screws. Since they're needed for so many different things on so many different floors, it's like, okay, come on. Let's just have them all here and organize them that way. So yeah, been prepping for that. Got a cool little bridge here. I'm going to leave this middle area open because I like watching the trucks. It's a lot of fun. Like, look at them go. Oh, that's a little scary. So yeah, we're gonna leave this open, have a little bit of a gap, and then bridge everything over to here, and up our towers. And it's gonna look amazing! Anyway, I have made many, many, many episodes focusing on iron, so I'm just gonna do this bit off camera, and we'll go from there! Um, so guys, I was kind of making this, and I was running the numbers, and I... I, I didn't really realize exactly what the heck I was getting into. Because if we're mining 480 iron ore over there, that goes into 16 smelters. And our entire factory over here runs on 360 iron. So we are more than doubling our iron production. And it's just like... Oh, that's a little spicy, brother. And then realizing this big 480 number, I went to check the Mark IV belt, and it only does 450. So even if we had this belt, we couldn't run this new smelting area properly. So it's like, oh, oh my god. <laughs> that's insane. So the only option I really have to make this 100% efficient is to set up another truck stop for the same area. Oh my gosh. <sighs> so yep, got it set up there. That's another slot used. All of the iron will scoot over the wall and into the factory area. And that's gonna be that. At least going forward, I highly doubt we'll need any more iron. Like. Holy snap, this is gonna be insane. <laughs> Okie dokie, we have a many a trucks of rooming and a zooming. And flipping out a little bit too. But generally speaking, we're not good. <laughs> huh. Huh. Come here, confused tractor. 
Come here, my friend. Let's get you back on the road. Okay, extended the bumper over there, so that shouldn't happen again. And now we're just gonna wait just a second here, because there should be a truck coming down any moment. I don't really want the traffic to pile up. I'm not seeing it though, so you know what? We're gonna YOLO it, never mind. Skirt! Let's go. Let's go. Up and over the hill, up and over the hill. Come on, quickly, quickly, quickly. Don't want to have a traffic jam. No truck. No problem. And autopilot. Go, truck. Go, be free. Oh my gosh, I can run as fast as the truck now with the lead runners. That's pretty sick. Okay, everything should be good now. Right, right, no more crashing, no more nonsense. And we're getting back to base. So, oh my gosh, we're gonna have so much iron production, it's gonna be wild. But first off, we gotta go crash into the wall here. Oh, he almost made the turn. It's still a little too tight for him. Come on, go fix yourself. There we go, and away we are. Off to your new tractor stop depot thing. Good lad, good lad. And with a lot bringing in all of our iron ore, that should get our factory over, oh. What? I'm stuck. That should, sorry. That should get our factory over yonder rocking and rolling. So let's plug it in. Let's bring the ore way down deep in there. This is already stuffed full of nonsense. Good, good, good. Alrighty. Cool. This is all gonna be working rather smoothly once I turn it on. So after this though, it will all come upstairs and become iron rods and then screws. And it should be no proberino. <laughs> no proberino, he says. Oh, silly kids in the past. Doesn't understand the power of 480 iron ore. Because I just finished up the iron rod constructor section here. And <laughs> for half of the iron we're producing, we can run 16 constructors here. And then, we can run another 16 screw machines. Yeah, they're constructors too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And guess what? We can make 1,440 screws with only half of the iron we're producing on the first floor. Uh-huh. So, still another whole floor to add on, but... <laughs> this is getting insane. I love it! And now witness it, guys. 1,440 screws can be produced here. Man, oh man. This is gonna last us a while. I'm pretty sure. Alright though, the ratios, again, are pretty simple. One rod constructor to one screw constructor, the timings all work out very simply. However, the output for the screws is 90 per minute, so... Uh, Four constructors for screws is 360, and the lines I have can't handle that right now. So I have three constructors all lined up, and they head onto their own line for their output, and then the excess amount that I can't handle with our current lines goes to kind of like a separate configuration, just at the end here, and these all go up separately. And they all go up to the next floor, up these beautiful, Conveyor belt elevators. Oh, that look just so freaking clean. Absolutely love them. But yep, they go upstairs to these storage bins. And these storage bins will go to... Oops, let me get over here, please. Thank you. Oh my gosh, these lines. There we go. And the storage bins will go to load balancers, which will go to each of our late game production lines over there. So yeah, looking clean, looking beautiful. I am really happy with this. Now, I could have waited for the next tier of lines, but I think the chaotic work around here just looks better. And that's like half the reason I'm playing here, to make a cool looking factory, and this is pretty cool. But it'll be even more cool when we get it running. 
So, all we have to do is hook up one power line to this. The smelters will begin and everything will get rocking and rolling. Oh, this is gonna use up probably 500 megawatts of power. Let's go. All of them are alive. We're at about 500 right now. Everything's kind of getting warmed up. Already seeing the iron output going. <laughs> and the power's creeping. 650. Oh my god, it is actually going to be like 500 megawatts. Because we have this layer, which is at smelting all of the iron. And then we have the next layer of constructors that's making the rods. Oh my gosh, I don't even want to do the math on this. Only 4 megawatts, but that's times 16. Okay. But then these constructors will go to the next layer of the screw constructors and... Oh, this is gonna be... This is gonna be wild, guys. This is gonna be wild. Let's see here, though. Did I mess up on anything? Of course. Always one little thing. We'll just hook that up. Gets that running. These two belts, yeah. I'm only using half my iron, so these two are just staying like that for now. Probably extend over this way later on if we need any more iron production for things. I think we'll be fine. Yeah. Now all of the iron ingots are going to these constructors. The timings should all be perfect. Just needs to warm up a bit. Gosh, I hate waiting for it to warm up, man. The anticipation. It's like, did I screw up on anything? Because it's going to show up now. And is that is that a warming up problem, or is that because it's too slow? Oh, yikes. It seems it might just be off. Why is this not... Wait, why isn't this a steady stream? What's going on here? Why is this all bunched up? That shouldn't be happening at all. Did I not? I must have not connected another thing, right? Please. There's no, there's no coal in here. Oh, okay. 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 There we go. The fun thing about doing, or hooking everything to run at once is seeing it all work at once, but then oh, you find all these little problems at every stage. Why can't I connect this? Splitter. It needs to be a merger. Of course. And yeah, aside from that one merger issue, there's a few other things. I had them like a tier 3 line and a tier 2 place, etc, etc. A bunch of minor things, but all the iron is flowing smoothly now. The iron rods being produced. Perfectly now, too. Excellent, excellent. The leg getting absolutely out of this world in this area. Go figure. But yep, this area is working just fine. Going upstairs to the screw part. Everything should be fine as well. Ooh, and this is... A <laughs> Things are getting crazy choppy over here. Let's try and get the big ol' overview. Yeah, looks good not seeing any hiccups. These little gaps are okay because there's actually only two constructors providing screws to this line. So, that's not a problem. This one on the end got a little backed up, which is why it's more steady. So that's cool, that's cool. Everything working fine. Good. And moving up finally to the top floor where everything's gathering up together. Holy Screw up palooza <laughs> This is insane. Woo! That was an incredible clutch by me. GG! Look at that! Wow. So efficient. So clean. So many screws. It's insane. Man, like, when you say 1,440 a minute, it's, it's, it's hard to visualize. But when you see it, it's like, wow. This is wild, man. This is absolutely wild. So, again, from here, we pretty much... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. 
Uh, from here, it's going to be a series of load balancers over here to go to the final assembly lines over in the main base there. Ooh, quick little flyby by our moth friend. And, yeah, everything will be perfect. Won't have to worry about screws in the main base here either. Meaning that will free up a few production lines. So when we bring in oil and criterium, it is criterium, right? Whatever it is. We can add that into the lower floors here, and it'll free up a little bit of space. But yeah, we have done a heck of a lot today. We built this entire factory, added in all the new truck lines, the iron nodes. Yeah, it's been a busy, busy day. So I'll probably get to the load balancing and reorganizing on my Twitch channel. So follow me on Twitter to see when I go live on Twitch, or just follow me on Twitch. Simple stuff there too. <laughs> And yeah, I'll get to that off camera. Next time, big adventure for the oil. And we're gonna hook that up, get the plastic online, start making computers and having a ton of fun with that. So I guess that is going to be all for today. So if you enjoyed, again, remember to leave a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I hope to see you in the next one. So have a fantastic rest of your day and bye bye.